Welcome to Monday Night Raw. As you can see, Dana Brooke is in the ring because she is starting off Monday Night Raw, taking on Rhea Ripley. And here comes Rhea. And Rhea is looking to climb the ranks of Monday Night Raw. If you know, Charlotte Flair is a Raw. Women's Champion and Rhea Ripley is looking to climb the ranks again. And once again, we come Women's Champion. Let's get the smash underway and see if Rhea can defeat Dana Brooke. crowd behind Rhea here, Dana Brooke, she does have a, she's the underdog of this match, but Rhea's got some confidence, so does Dana Brooke, but Rhea is showing off her power early on here, Rhea now, what's she thinking, Northern Lights suplex into the bridge, is that it, is that going to be enough to put Dana Brooke away, no it ain't, Rhea may be underestimating Dana Brooke here, something she can't do, she needs to put this match, as if it is a title match and there you go a huge lariat is that it no Dana broke out before even a one count Dana Brook up now Dana Brook knee to the midsection and to get some strikes of our own maybe looking for a strike to the back actually there now four on to the face of Rhea Ripley Rhea now Dana Brooke hoists her up and plants her down. And just kick Rhea in the face. It's, just, um, it's a little bit of disrespect shown there. But I guess Rhea hasn't shown no respect to Dana Brooke. I think now Rhea will. She runs in and take down. Spare light takedown there. And now a leg drop to Dana Brooke. And now just stomping away on the chest. So this is a raw after backlash pay per view. Well, we saw quite a lot of women's action go down. We saw quite a lot of action in general go down. And Rhea, what's she thinking now? Rhea, taking her time here. She's preparing to a hoist stop. Dana Brooke with a suplex. Dana Brooke feeling the effects of that one. Now it's Rhea thinking this time. Rhea hoists up Dana Brooke, and this time. Is stalling suplex. It's just impressive. And you cannot deny that's an impressive feat. It's really Ripley plant Dana Brooke down. This match could be now in the end here. Could be a quick match to start off a roll. It's Rhea hoists up Dana and slams her down. I think Rhea's thinking exactly that herself. Dana Brooks up. Dana Brooke drop kick. Kick to the midsection. Rhea Ripley not having any of that. And takes down Dana Brooke again. What's Rhea thinking now? Maybe a Boston Crab. Is she going to get it? Is she going to turn Dana Brooke over? Yes, she is. Is Dana Brooke going to tap though? That's the question. It's like Dana Brooke's going to look to crawl. Is she going to get to the ropes? Yes, she does. And Rhea misses a stomp. Dana Brooke gets out of the way there. Now we're a close line. Now running forearm. Now Dana Brooke. Changing her mind there, and I think that cost her in the end. We are now thinking about that. Delayed suplex again. The hoist there. And now she looks for it. Dana Brooke knee to the head. I was Dana Brooke thinking now, just slamming Rhea face first into the mat. Oh, back first into the mat, sorry. Dana Brooke to the top, looking for a swan time. But Rhea gets out of the way. And now Rhea, what's Rhea thinking? Pump handle, slam. Is that going to be a oh, pump, handle, pump handle drop? Sorry, actually. And the ref raises Dana Brooke across the ropes, and Rhea doesn't look too happy about that. I think Rhea thought the match was over. Rhea now launches Dana Brooke into the corner. Referee almost getting in the way there. But shoulder thrust into the corner now. Dana Brooke showing her power to get out of the corner. And just build some confidence of her own here. Just flying off the ropes. Meets a forearm up. Fires on back of her own. Now jawbreaker. Now Rhea. German suplex. 
Not really what she's thinking. Looking for a drop kick, but Dana Brooke gets out of the way. I think Rhea might have hurt her back on that one. Dana Brooke now, what's she thinking? Net breaker. Dana Brooke might be thinking about putting this one away, but Rhea, whatever Dana Brooke was thinking, isn't going to allow it. Now Rhea hoisting Dana Brooke over the top, and now just looking to slam her face first into the mat. Now Rhea looking to showcase her strength again here. A wheelbarrow face buster. Now Rhea has to drop her wit onto the back. Rhea could be thinking about the end in her. Rhea picking up in a brook. Can again for this sort this delayed suplex. Clearly she enjoys it in this manoeuvre. Look at the impact it has on her lower back. Now Rhea. Caught but Rhea. In Zaguri but Dana Brooks stays standing. Dana Brooks was slammed again. Now Rhea Ripley. Kicked to the back. I think Rhea's just getting angry now. Like the smash has not been over with yet. Rhea throws Dana Brooke to the outside. I don't think that's what she had planned. Maybe it is. It's a little bit of mind game, is it? And we're looking for a count out victory. Dana Brooke's saying she's going to break up at Rhea. I don't think she's going to allow that Rhea Ripley. Riptide. Into the pin. One, two, three. And Rhea Ripley picks up a victory here on Monday Night Raw while we're to start the show. You see that vicious clothesline there into the pin. There was only a one count, not even a one count, sorry, I mean. And you see the pump handle drop here where Dana Brooke got the rope break. And you see Dana Brooke here looking for that net breaker and she got it. And she looked for, I believe, a finisher after that, but then the riptide after she got back in the ring. And that was it. One, two, three. I thought she was in re reprinting Dana Brock with Solomon Miz, take on Janelle Hall and pick up a victory. And Cedric Alexander defeating Elias on one-on-one -on -one competition. Was on a new day to take on Lorcan and Birch and pick up a victory there. And Nikki A.S.H. defeated Lana. And let's get into our next match, which is Drew Gulak taking on your almighty Bobby Lashley. Continue to show her where the match I just mentioned, the almighty Bobby Lashley, who we still don't know if he's going to align himself with the Hurt Business again. He's coming out alone here tonight. No MVP, no Cedric Alexander, no shot on Benjamin. Just the almighty. And tonight he's going to be taking on Drew Gulak, who is the underdog in this match, got to say. Bobby Lashley is a clear favourite to win. He's looking to build his uh, brand here on Raw, and possibly go after the, a the WWE title AJ Styles is holding at the moment, who defeated Chris Jericho in a fantastic match last night at Backlash Pay-Per-View. Let's get Drew Gulak out here, get this match underway. Here comes Drew Gulak, the man who's looking to shock the world, you got to say, here tonight. And if he beats Bobby Lashley, that'll be a huge statement. And I think Drew Gulak saying, you're going to go down, Lashley. I mean, you've got to have confidence. But I don't think anyone in this arena right now believes Gulak is going to win. Gulak is a submission, a suspe uh, submission specialist sorry, himself. So he might go way out of the hurt lock. But I think the strength of Lashley will just be too much for Gulak here tonight. Let's get this match underway. Gulak comes to run again, but Lashley, net breaker. Uses the momentum with Drew Gulak to his favour, though. 
Now Gulak just hoisted up and dropped on Bobby Lashley's knee. A grand and pound from Lashley. As I mentioned during the entrance, if you haven't checked out back on this pay per view, I'd recommend you do so. Some great matches took, on, took place. And tonight we're seeing some great action with Lashley with the torture rack. Now punches to the face of Drew Gulak again. Drew Gulak is not in a good way right now. Gulak on drag out of it though. Gulak. But Lashley turns it around again and a big boot right to the face of Drew Gulak. Gulak now into the corner. Lashley is running in with a huge right hand. Fires himself up. Now with the ropes. We can throw a shoulder tackle there. I thought he was going to go clothesline. I think he realized Gulak, Drew Gulak was ready for something and switched up last second. Gulak now, a takedown of his own. Ash is taken down Bobby Lashley and now he's just hyping himself up. Gulak might be looking to do it again, but Gulak runs right into a uh, clothesline. Oh, Bobby Lashley and Lashley now. Lashley is not happy. Lashley running power slam. Lashley saying this is what he does. And he's, he's correct, he does do this, he does dominate, and he is the almighty, but right now he doesn't have any gold around his waist. That is the one thing he's looking for right now, Lashley hoisting up, Gulak here, looking for a fantastic, similar to Rhea Ripley in our opening match, a fantastic stalling suplex from the almighty. Now just again with a ground and pound to Drew Gulak. And so it's brave from Drew Gulak to actually take on this match. Lashley now looking for a torture rack again, maybe yes he is. To throw back, that will help him with the hurt lock later on. Nah, Bobby Lashley, what's he thinking? Back suplex just launches Gulak. No care and award for Gulak there, just launches him onto the mat. Now Lashley, off the ropes, what is he looking for? Whatever he's looking for, Drew Gulak gets out of the way. And Gulak now, a shot to the back of the neck. Now it's taken down Lashley and this is what Gulak needs to do. He needs to stay on top of Lashley. And here we go, maybe we're going to see a submission here. Hoisting up Lashley, this is impressive from Gulak. I don't think he has the strength to keep it locked in though. Impressive feat of strength there from Gulak, but an arm drag out of it by Lashley. And Lashley now comes running again with just a kick right to the midsection. Now Lashley with a bear hug of his own, or a bear hug submission. It's going to be enough to put down Drew Gulak here. Lashley has targeted their back in this match. Is it going to be enough though? I think. Gulak is fighting out of this one, yes he is. Wasn't too sure what the outcome was going to be, but Gulak, Drew Gulak, clapping the ears there. Gulak comes running in with another takedown. Doing well for himself, but Lashley gets out of the way of the knee drop and a chop block to the actual front of the leg. An orthodox here right to the shin. I think it's what Lashley had in plan, but a huge forearm is now Lashley is angry. Lashley, I was going to say he's looking for blood and he's found it. Lashley now just saying this is what he does to the crowd before looking possibly to end it here looking for the spear if he gets this look at that blood pouring from Drew Gulak what a spear by Lashley well Lashley is not done Lashley looking to get behind Drew Gulak Drew Gulak trying to fight it by turning around himself there but I don't think he's going to be able to fight it off in the end the hurt lock is locked in all the way and Gulak no choice but to tap bleeding beaten and dominated by the almighty and the almighty is rising up the ranks here he could look for maybe the United States Championship or the IC title if he wants to switch brands maybe you never know what's going to happen in WWE but as you can see here on Raw is making people tap and maybe we'll see a title in this man's future.
I don't think Lashley's done here with Jagulak. Lashley, what are you doing? Lashley's no, there's no need. Whatever you're thinking, there's no need. Lashley launches Gulak back into the ring. No, Lashley. What are you thinking? Lashley again looking in the hurt lock. And Gulak quickly taps. But Lashley's still got locked in and never go lets it go. A statement made by Bobby Lashley here tonight. We continue Raw here, and out of nowhere, Dominic Mysterio is coming out here. Obviously, on the last Raw before Backlash, Dom uh, Dominic was attacked by a mystery attacker. We don't know who that was. Dominic is coming out here. I'm not sure if it's for a match or just to call out his mystery attacker. Now, Ray obviously isn't here. Ray is a SmackDown superstar. Ray is currently occupied with his own stuff over there. So, Ray cannot be here to help Dominic here tonight. I guess we're going to find out. My Dominic's got his mind here. He looks focused, he looks normal. But maybe on the back of his mind, maybe as you can see from that look there, Dominic's thinking whether he's safe or not here tonight from his mystery attacker. But I still don't know who it is. I saw a brief glimpse of the attacker's face in the video that we saw of the attack. But Dominic, I think, is coming out here for a match. Dominic. Wait. Oh my god, that's a mystery attacker. Dominic. Well, that's Desta Loomis. Desta Loomis. Attacking Dominic again from behind. What has Desta Loomis got a problem with Dominic for? Why is Dexter doing this? Dexter's choking Dominic with, the f with his foot there. The referee in this ring. This is not a match. This is just. Dexter attacking Dominic Mysterio for no reason, dropping Dominic, not going for the choke chokehold we saw in that video. Slamming Dominic's face into the mat. And now just punching Dominic again. Now Dexter's giving the sign. Referee needs to stop Dexter here. Dexter. Throwing Dominic into the corner. Dominic gets a block up. Dominic fighting back here. Not sure how wise this is from Dominic to attack Dexter. But what what else can he do? It's not just gonna stay down and let Dexter attack him. Why is Dexter doing this to Dominic Mysterio? That's my question. What has Dominic Mysterio done to Dexter Loomis? That needs him to be attacked. I guess we'll get answers soon enough. Or maybe Dexter's just doing this for the fun of it. You never know with Dexter Loomis. Remember down in the NXT when he, when he was focused, it looked like he was focused on Johnny Gargano, but he was actually focused on Austin Ferry all the time. And that's the limit, so just wiping out Mysterio. Ray cannot be too happy watching this. Ray is probably either at home watching this, or somewhere waiting for SmackDown to take place on Friday. I'm not surprised if Ray is on his way here right now, Dexter hopping the barricade. Yeah, so I think once I think that's just leaving now. Dominic's laid out. Wait, why is Dex over here? This is an area where Superstar sometimes brawl and Dexter I think he's calling Dominic over to fight him over here. So going for the baseball bat. Dominic running in and just cuts with a baseball bat now. This is Dexter looms this area now. Nowhere near the referee. Can do exactly what he wants. A dominant Mysterio. The crowd are cheering this. It's a sick and twisted from the crowd. If someone gets security out here to stop Dexter. Dominic was meant to be in a match here tonight. It was meant to be in a match on the last Raw as well when he was attacked. Maybe Dexter's jealous of Dominic actually getting opportunities here. All Dexter probably had to do was wait his time. He's a talented wrestler. He would get his opportunities and Dexter just waiting. Just standing over Dominic here. Dominic getting up. And a cheer shot. Glancing down the face of Dominic. And a, he misses that one. And Dexter doesn't look too happy about that. Dexter snapped after missing. Well, I say he snapped. He wasn't all too there to begin with. Now Dexter... 
What what is Dexter doing this for? I need to find out. I need to know Dexter now. It's a chokehold hoisting Dominic up. Is Dominic gonna tap here? Is Dominic gonna tap or pass out? Not too sure, but I think Dominic might be out. That's the corner Dominic to his feet again. Why is he doing this? Dominic. Oh no, not again. This is the hope we saw Dominic in. This is the hope we saw Dominic locked in. In that video. And Dominic taps out here. And Dominic lets go. Dexter lets go here and Dexter standing over Dominic. Guess we'll have answers soon enough by Dexter Loomis. Okay, well just before that attack, obviously Bobby Lashley took on Drew Gulak and won. But after the attack, Wesley he picked up a victory over Roderick Strong. And Damian Priest took on Apollo Crews in one-on-one -on -one competition. Got a victory there. Now our main event is Ricochet taking on Samoa Joe. Now Samoa Joe is probably looking for a WWE title shot after he was the one that made Chris Jericho tap out in that tag team match just before Backlash pay-per-view and that is kind of backfired on AJ Styles who defeated Chris Jericho at Backlash and maybe Samoa Joe is the next in line or maybe it's Ricochet, if Ricochet can beat Samoa Joe he could be the man taking on AJ at Extreme Rules but let's get into this match and see if Ricochet can beat Samoa Joe or Samoa Joe will put Ricochet to sleep and earn himself a WWE title shot and here comes our one and only Ricochet Ricochet, you got to say, is probably the underdog in this match. Samoa Joe has the size advantage, meaning he's got the strength advantage and the experience advantage of a Ricochet. A Ricochet, who's behind Ricochet there? That's AJ Styles. I guess AJ wants a front seat to this match. I don't blame him. If he's going to find out who's taking him on at Extreme Rules, he might as well come down to the ring and watch it from ringside, pay, ringside so he can get a close-up view of his opponent and learn all about them. But he obviously knows about Samoa Joe. He said the years they've spent in this business together. A Ricochet making his way to the ring here. This is a big opportunity for Ricochet. If he can knock off Samoa Joe, he might take on AJ at Extreme Rules, like I said before the match. But let's get Samoa Joe out here and get this match underway. Now here comes the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. Now obviously in that tag match, just before Backlash pay-per-view, it was AJ and Samoa Joe taking on Chris Jericho and Apollo Crews. And Jericho got distracted, decided to start shouting at AJ, saying I'm going to beat you at Backlash. And then Joe got up behind him, locked in the coquina, and put Chris Jericho to sleep. Now Joe rightfully is looking for a title opportunity, he put down the number one contender, so that surely makes him the number one contender. Let's get the smash underway and see if Joe can start the can kick off it's opportunity I guess start the ball rolling let's get this match on the way crowd behind Ricochet here no behind Joe in his entrance obviously chanting Joe um, interesting to see Ricochet Samoa Joe and Ricochet are staring at each other here. Ricochet not backing down, throws a strike, but, Joe, but Samoa Joe was too strong. And now Joe hoists up Ricochet and planted him face first. And I'm going to be interested to see what AJ's involvement in this is going to be. If he's just going to stay in the corner over there, or he's going to get involved. So if he gets involved, then surely there's going to be something that our role general manager is going to do. Because if he screws Samoa Joe or Ricochet, have an opportunity here, Ricochet taking down some Ocho here and is he, look, is he looking for the people's moonsault? Early on in this match here, off the ropes, looking for it but Joe gets the knees up. Too early in the match to look for moves like that, Ricochet. And Joe what a kick, and now an elbow drop. And a sent on to Ricochet. Like I was saying, if, if AJ gets involved here and causes one of these two to lose this match, and surely there's got to be another given another opportunity to whoever it is, because it's unfit. I guess we'll find out as, as this match comes to a close later on. 
Joe now just chopping away now, just jabs and strikes. I'm looking to sweep the leg of Ricochet, but Ricochet backs up just enough. Ricochet inverted Hurricane Rana. That's a big move to do to Samoa Joe. What a weight of Samoa Joe coming down on his neck. And Ricochet following up with an elbow to the neck here. Ricochet off the ropes. Ricochet on the ropes, sorry, is Samoa Joe. Ricochet now, what's Ricochet looking for? Throwing Joe to the outside, I think Ricochet is looking to fly. Ricochet lining it up. Ricochet through the middle rope with a barrel roll tope. Crowd chanting, this, awesome, this is awesome here. As it is, that was an impressive athleticism from Ricochet. That's what Ricochet can do. That's why he's gonna, he should be a champion here in WWE, but whether it's not, whether or not he's gonna reach those heights, we're gonna have to see. And Joe again with just like kick to the shoulder, taking down Ricochet. This is what you could possibly have. At extreme rules, AJ Styles, just a moment of Mr. Machine, who has fought before for the title. Don't remember, don't forget that feud, that very heated feud between Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, but Ricochet gets out of the way, the big boot, and delivers a Horican Rana. But Joe gets out of the way here, just too much experience, but Ricochet heard Joe coming, a net breaker. I remember that feud all those years ago, it got very personal between these two. Joe talking about the family of AJ Styles. Remember, it was a very fun feud to watch, but it was also a very personal Pele kick after the roll through by Ricochet. Ricochet, AJ showing on Ricochet here. I think AJ is going to be impartial in this one. That's what I think coming into this one, anyway. At this point in the match, AJ's not got involved yet. Joe turning him back. The momentum and sweeps the leg of Ricochet this time. Ricochet gets out of the way there. Ricochet, big boot to Joe. And now sent on. Ricochet going to the top here. What's Ricochet looking for? Ricochet, Phoenix splash what comes down onto the knees. I smell Joe and that big boot connects this time. Sending Ricochet all the way across the ring. Joe now looking to hoist up Ricochet again, but Ricochet slips behind and drop kick to the back. Usually we see a German suplex count as the suplex is in that position, but I think Ricochet just knew he didn't have the strength. It was going to be much harder for him to do that. Two to Mother Joe than anything else he could do in that position, but Ricochet going back to the top. What's Ricochet thinking? Phoenix, no, no, sorry, shooting star press. Only a one count though on Samoa Joe. Show now, put show back on the ropes. But Joe, elbow. Joe again looking to sweep the leg, but Ricochet out of it. And Ricochet with that hurricane runner again, disorient, disorienting. Sorry, Samoa Joe. Now Ricochet springboard off the corner, looking for a moonsault. I think it landed on the back of Joe, but I think Joe took the impact to that move. But Joe now, atomic drop, big boot, and it's not done yet. Sent on. Now Joe turning Ricochet over. German suplex. Double underhook suplex. And now a straight jacket German. One, two, Ricochet out. Joe now is turning attention to AJ. Maybe just saying, this is what you've got waiting for you. Ricochet out of the way, a dark kick out, kicked a punch to the midsection there. And now Ricochet, hoist up Joe, plants him down. So that could be enough. Put away Samojo here. No, Samojo out with power. Ricochet cannot believe it here. Super kick. That was a Brilliant super kick by Ricochet. Now Ricochet. Samoa Joe's in the drop zone. Samoa Joe. 6.30 knees up though. Knees up. And Ricochet. Now Joe comes in. Huge lariat. Joe could be thinking about ending this one. Joe into the corner. But Ricochet. 
Not allowing Joe. I think Joe might have been thinking muscle buster. Super King again. He's showing out. Spring by Tope, but he didn't get the launch he needed. Ricochet, a rare mistake there. Tries to follow it up with a shooting star press standing. But Joe got the, got the knees up and a headbutt now. Joe. Reversed it by Ricochet. Jawbreaker. Ricochet kicked in the red section. Reco recoil by Ricochet. Is that going to be enough to put away Joe? It is not. Crouch and you're not over here to Ricochet. Very brutal here, this crowd. 6.30. I mean, I wouldn't be saying it now. Samoa Joe. Will Samoa Joe kick out? Two or three quarters. He does. I don't think Ricochet can believe it. Ricochet is taking a breather here. Ricochet now. Okay, looking for a spinning back elbow. Joe turns Ricochet around. Kokina. Is this going to be it? Joe's got it locked in tight. He's going to get the leg. Just he is middle of the ring. Is this going to be enough to put away Ricochet? Ricochet. Elbow to the midsection. Elbow again. Ricochet turns it over into a pinning combination. Into a pin. And Ricochet gets the victory. Over Samoa Joe. Well shot there. Joe had the Kokina locked in. But Ricochet is smartly rolled over, turning it into a pinning combination. And is Ricochet now the number one contender to AJ's number WWE title? We'll see in the coming weeks, I guess. We've got two weeks before it Shin rules. We might see these two go out again, or these two might be both be put in matches to determine who's the number one contender. Whoever wins gets the opportunity, but Ricochet comes so close to winning. And multiple times in this one. Joe couldn't get his moves in. Ricochet is too quick. Recall there, 630 there. But in the end, a mistake by Samoa Joe maybe. And Ricochet picks up the victory, and that's the end of Monday Night Raw. See you on a SmackDown.